Long ago, there was a Hebrew prophet named Jonah. For all his life, Jonah had been a humble servant to God. But on this day, God had a special job for him, a job that would challenge Jonah's faith and lead him to the shores of enemy land. <gasps> this, then, is the story of Jonah and the Ninevites. are so juicy. Blueberries. Go easy, Megan. These berries are for the town raffle, so they gotta be perfect. Try picking them like this. Boring. I like to be more hands-on with my work. Have it your way. Just keep working. Mayor Green is expecting us soon. We've still got to pick this patch. Hey, will you please stop eating the blueberries? I thought you were. <laughs> I think we have a visitor. Shh! Hey guys, what's up? Wally, we should have known it was you. Who said you could eat our blueberries? Well, uh, no one. <laughs> but, uh, but no one said I could either. Can I have another? No! no. Come on. I'm a growing caterpillar, you know. Not to mention, I'm weak and near death after literally getting squashed by a giant. Giant? Around here? You betcha. So what do you say? You're gonna spare just one of those berries? Hardly. We've got to deliver this batch to Mayor Green. Perfect. I was just heading that way myself. That is, if I'm not too weak. Oh, you will carry me, right? Come on, Megan. Oh, guys, guys, wait up. You're supposed to be carrying me. What are you painting now, Mayor Green? Oh, my! Oops, sorry about that. Hey, now, uh, don't you fret. <laughs> I've been needing a new brush anyhow. That's great, because the brush you ordered from my dad's shop came in, and I have it right here. Uh, I right, uh, <clears throat> that's all. Right. Somebody get Wally a mint leaf? His breath needs some help. Ta-da! Here it is. Good as new. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, thanks, Wally. So, are you helping out around the blueberry patch? Helping? More like stealing, I'd say. I was hungry. Yeah, what's new? All right, you three, be nice. Now, Wally, hungry or not, it's never right to steal. <clears throat> as for you two, you need to be a bit more caring with Wally. But he started it. Start, stop, finish, who cares? You all need to stick together. It's a big world out there. Yeah. <laughs> you tell him they agree. You all head back to the patch and work as a team. Uh, but I'm serious. Stay together. There's a lot of giants with big feet out there. All right, Mayor Green. We'll do. No! <coughs> a lot of help he is. No kidding. I've known slugs that were more helpful. A crow! We've got to get out of here! I'd better warn Wally. Wait! Not so fast! Maybe that crow will scare him away. We can't let that happen, can we? Uh, excuse me. We want to get rid of the pest, don't we? Let's move. Hi, 
Blaze, watch your backs. There's a crow on the loose. And he looks hungry. G guys? <laughs> Oh, 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 let's get moving, feet. Come on, all of you. <laughs> What's the matter? Too quick for you? Uh-oh, where's Wally? <gasps> you think that bird actually uh, ate him? Oh, I knew we should have warned him. What do we do now? <laughs> You bloodthirsty bird! I'm tired, but I'm not dead yet! Jonah. God, is that you? Jonah, I have a job for you. Of course. Whatever you wish, God. Go to the city of Nineveh and tell the people there that they must change their wicked ways. But the Ninevites are our enemies. They're greedy and mean. Why, well, they'll kill me if I set foot in their city. I know you're afraid, Jonah, but you must trust me. I will be with you. No, I'm sorry, God, but I cannot and will not help my enemy. If Nineveh's east, I shall go west as far as possible. We've got to get off this ride, and fast! See if there's any rope in the pouch. Hiya, miss me? Wally! You're alive! Wait a second, how'd you get here? Well, I was flung from a leaf, and then I flew, and then I landed. But now that we're all together, could one of you massage my feet? I stepped in something big. Oh. Uh. I must go west. Are you going that way? Yes, to Tarsish, but it is quite far away. Good. All the better. You have the look of a worried man, matey. Don't fear. There may be a storm brewing, but I've sailed rougher seas than this. It's not the storm I fear, it's where it came from. Where are we? Why can't we move? Watch this. Dinner time! Really? Right now? Where? Nowhere! You were squishing us! No! Captain, the storm's too strong. The gods must be angry with us. Oh no, what have I done? Cramped in there. I'm gonna get some fresh air. It's like a jungle up here. Wally, are you crazy? The giant could wake up any second. Whoa. Uh, I, I see what you mean. 
This is no time to rest. Get on deck and pray to your god. Perhaps he will save us. Now's your chance, Wally. Jump! <laughs> okay, but you're gonna catch me, right? Ah! Hey, nice catch. Our gods are not answering us. Someone here has caused this storm. It's time we cast lots to determine whom. Gather round! What do they say, Captain? One of us is running from something. It's him! What have you done? Who are you? What god have you betrayed? I am Jonah, a Hebrew, and I worship the Almighty, the one god who created us all. <gasps> Unbelievable! You disobeyed your god? What type of man turns his back on his god? A desperate man. This storm is no accident. It's here because I questioned God's will. I disobeyed him. To save yourselves, you must sacrifice me. What? You mean throw you overboard? Yes. It's the only way. No. It's too cruel. I won't toss you overboard. All hands start rowing. We'll head back to shore as quickly as we can. The storm's getting stronger. No! Captain, you know what you must do. To save your life and the lives of your men, do it now! Almighty God, creator of us all, please forgive us for what we now must do. Hey, don't I get a say? Please, God. I know I betrayed your trust, but I beg of you, have mercy upon me. What do you know? We're saved! We're not off the hook yet, worm boy. Look! Be quick, hide me. I'm too plump and tasty. I'm a silly duck. Speaking of duck, duck! <laughs> Smells like rotten fish. Krillfish, to be exact. What else would you expect to find in a whale? A few tasty leaves would be nice. So what are you up to now? I'm building us a boat to float us out. Three days in here is enough. Do you really think it'll matter? Jonah's been praying to God non-stop, and we're still stuck inside here. That's only because he has a lot of explaining to do. Dear God, merciful God, I should never have disobeyed you. You could have let me sink to my death, but instead you lifted me from despair. I won't doubt you again. Where's that troublemaking Wally? You who up here? Hey guys, check it out. I'm Jungle Wally. Oh. Stop fooling around. This is serious. You two need to relax. Have a little fun for once. What could happen? Ouch! Yeah, that does it, worm boy. I've had it with your stupid games. You, you're talking to me? Yes! All you've done on this trip is eat, lollygag, eat, and sleep. I've also dreamed about eating. Now you've ruined our best chance of getting out of here. My boat! That does it! We don't want you around us anymore. Gee, sorry guys. Guess I got carried away. What if I can bust us out of here? <gasps> Wake up, Walnut. We're inside a whale. Besides, if anyone's gonna get us out of here, it's gonna have to be Jonah. Please, God, return me to dry land. I've learned from my mistakes. Please, let me see the light of day again. Back in the pouch, hurry! We're saved! Jonah. Yes, God? You must finish your task. 
Go to Nineveh and tell them my message. They have but 40 days to change their ways. But God, have you no better task for me than helping my enemies? There is no time to question. A people's fate lies in your hands. No. Yes, God, if that is what you wish. Well, looks like we're going to Nineveh! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? Stop! Thief! How dare you! I'll tear you apart with my bare hands! No wonder Jonah didn't want to come here. This place is dangerous. Uh, it doesn't look so tough. Stop or be killed. Now, is it tough enough for you? Who are you, and what is your business? I am Jonah, a Hebrew, but I come in peace, here to deliver a message from God. Why should we believe you? Because if you don't, then in 40 days, you and your city will be no more. <laughs> This Hebrew has asked to see you, your majesty. It must be sure the king will do something. <laughs> For three days, I lived inside a whale. Until today, when God's mercy shone upon me, giving me the strength to stand before you. See? This is krillfish, a favorite food of whales. Your majesty, God has told me that Nineveh will be destroyed. If you and your people don't change your greedy and violent ways, then we must change. We will make sacrifices, give up our excesses, and pray for forgiveness. And if we should prove our faith, then perhaps God will have mercy upon us. Yes! Drop your weapons, respect your elders, share with your neighbors and let God's will show you the way. You can't always be mad at people. You've got to give them a chance. Yeah, people and caterpillars. Hey, guys, what you doing? Hi, Wally. Hi, Wally. Your kindness has betrayed me, God. I knew you would save my enemy from ruin. That's why I didn't want to come here. Have you any right to be angry, Jonah? I don't care if I'm right. It's the way I feel. Why, God? Why do you show mercy to the Ninevites while I must suffer, baking like a lowly ant under this burning sun? It's not right. This heat, ugh, it's too much. Uh, uh, I guess I'll hit the sack too. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> hit the sack? Even when I'm cranky, I still got it. Are you going to take a nap too, Wally? Nah, I have some work to do. Whatever. Oh. There's something around here I'm supposed to do. Yeah, but what is it? Yeah, maybe nothing's gonna happen. Whoa. It's just a vine, and from out of nowhere. Huh. Now this is one miracle I can be thankful for. Wow, where'd that come from? That vine wasn't here yesterday. 
Yeah, and it won't be here tomorrow. Not at the rate Wally's chowing down on it. Wally, don't eat that. But I can't stop. I, I really worked up a, an appetite. And, and guess what? I was sent to eat this fine. Maybe there's more to Wally than we realize. Again, maybe not. My shade! It's gone! Hey, bring it back! Bring it back, I say! No, Jonah. I've already sent an insect to eat the vine away. But it was protecting me! You mean as I protected you from the ocean, the whale, and your enemies? Stop thinking about the vine, Jonah. Think of others. Just as I care about others, you should too. You're right, God. I've been wrong. You've proven that your love touches everyone. <laughs> Even a stubborn old fool like me. Think we've been a bit stubborn too? Yeah. Wally, Megan and I really owe you an apology. And we haven't been very nice to you because, well, you're just kind of buggy, you know? Yeah, we're sorry. So you don't want to get rid of me anymore? No. Of course not. When you get right down to it, you're a lot of fun. And you know, garlic breath isn't all that bad. I knew you both cared. So when we get back, do you think anyone's gonna believe our story? Oh, I got a hunch they will. <laughs> <laughs> it would take Jonah many years to appreciate the job he had done. But for two adventurous ants and a fun-loving caterpillar, the lesson of God's love will never be forgotten. <laughs>